Also today, a major setback for college hopefuls. The government has ended a popular loan program, and now bills are coming due for the most recent college graduates. High school students in New Britain spoke to one of Connecticut's top lawmakers about their own concerns earlier today. News 8's Ken Pierce live outside of New Britain High School this noon with more on what they had to say. Ken. Yeah, Keith, we're talking about a room full of high school students who say that their education here at New Britain High School has taught them everything about getting into college, but very little about how to pay for it. They told Senator Richard Blumenthal they are scared, and he told them right back that really the system for paying for college these days is broken. In a few years, these New Britain High School students hope to be college graduates, but many have a big concern first. I got off of a tour at NYU and my mom, she called me and she's like, you know, how was the tour? And I'm like, it was amazing. And she's like, well, you know, realistically, we, we can't afford a school outside of Connecticut. And I'm like, what do you mean? For some, financial concerns are the main factor in where they go to college. My brother, who went to college before me, he was really warned against going out of state just because it would be cheaper. So my parents are really against me going away and they'd rather me stay at home. These students let Senator Richard Blumenthal know their college concerns. He is part of a team of senators working to overhaul the college funding process. Why? Because the system right now is broken. It's broken because the interest rates are too high on the loans. There aren't enough grants. The Senate recently let the federal Perkin loans program expire. Blumenthal would like to see that or some other form of low-income student loan come back. He also wants to make two years of community college free and to forgive student loans for anyone who spends five years after graduation working in a public service job, something like teacher or firefighter. Right now, the collective student debt in the U.S. is around $1.2 trillion. The average person coming out of college has anywhere from $60,000 to $100,000 in debt. That's you five years from now. College has always been like this abstract concept in the back of my head. And now I'm like, I don't know how to make it real if I don't have the money for this. And it's, it's really scary for me. We heard that word scary from a lot of the kids today. And the problem is not getting any better. You see, the cost of education keeps going up and up. But the salaries for people who recently graduated from college, they are not going up. They're staying about the same. So it's tougher to pay back those loans. And a whole bunch more people are about to experience what that is like. There's a six-month grace period after you graduate before you have to start paying those loans back. For everybody who graduated college this past May, that's six months is just about up. Live outside New Britain High School, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.